Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of the Laundry Remodel. As you can see already behind me, a lot of it has already happened, but we're going to take a little bit of a rewind and show you what happened. And this week, it's all about the demolition, so stay tuned. So before we go any further, I want to take a really quick moment to mention and talk about one of the biggest things when it comes to a project like this, and that is safety. When you're doing a demolition, you're going to want to wear some safety glasses, some gloves, and even some ear protection. I chose to use ear protection because that high piercing sound from the hammer hitting that crowbar, it can get a little loud, and I just prefer to not have something so loud in my ears. But Safety glasses are a must. I don't know how many times I could say that I've worn a safety, uh, haven't worn safety glasses and had things fly in my eye that I really didn't think was going to happen, but it did. So, word of caution, always use some protection, use some forced thought, do some pre-preparation when it comes to safety. Let's go right back into project. Okay, so I think the main part of the demoing is done. Um, my clothes washing and drying machine are still going to be used, so I can't just go gutting all the electrical. But I do need to get rid of some electrical. We've got this outlet over here. It's really random. There's an outlet up high. It doesn't even work. I think it's on a switch, and those switches are going to change too. Um, so there's a lot of electrical things that I am going to do. There's still some boards. In fact, this this. Um, outlet is actually on a board it still needs to come out but as you saw before and uh, this window I was I'm going to block this window in eventually but by doing this with the four screws and two here to use as handles I could just move that throw out the junk put it back in and keep using it because we are in a dead of winter I don't want all this cold air just spewing in here and for that reason I also put a drop cloth in my doorway to try to keep the rest of the house heat intact while well, I've got this window open. But what I'm gonna do now is start kinda of getting some of this electrical figured out, um, take some plate covers off, try to clean that stuff up, see what I gotta work with because I've gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with some plumbing back here. Because like I said, these are going to essentially just move on over. And so I've gotta redirect where the plumbing is, where the drain is, and where the receptacle is down below for the dryer.
Well, so here's a little tip. Um, when you're demoing a lot of things, mostly all the stuff you're taking out is going to be trash. But what I like to do, these metal junction boxes, the only thing that's ever really wrong with them is they might be dirty, they might be painted, but you're going to always put them in a place that you're not going to see. So what I would always do is save it. Uh, you can take the wire off and just put this box in a, another box, sort somewhere, and keep it in your collection of boxes because really, that'll save you probably you know at least 50 cents to a dollar. If you add that up on a job, that'll take actually a lot more than that. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, it's still kind of like a demo in one sense because there's still some things that need to be addressed, but the main bulk of all the stuff is gone. I went ahead, took care of some of the electrical things, did that off camera because once again, this video is not going to focus on the electrical or the plumbing side, uh, mainly on the wood building and the remodeling part of it. So the next step is that we're going to get rid of this window. So I'm going to take all this trim off. And because of that, we're going to put a new piece of drywall here. So this is ugly Celotex stuff. Uh, it's very brittle when you take it down, but we've got a seam there, and that's pretty much where the forefoot is. So what we're going to do is take this trim off, take the Celotex off, take a look at the insulation behind it. Probably may actually throw some more insulation in there, frame the window up, and get that completely covered. Um, because mainly we want to just get rid of that. And while we're at it, we're going to see probably replacing the piece that's above this door too. Uh, it's just another little window piece that doesn't really need to be there. So we got to take care of that. I'm going to put drywall on top of this Celotex, but before I do, I'm going to do some framing and some plumbing stuff down here, and then we'll take care of the drywall. But all of that has to be done before we can move on to the cabinetry. And my shop's small enough that all this stuff for the drywall is in the way, so it has to be done first. All right, well, it's finally gotten dark outside, so now you can actually see what I'm working on. But after discussing with my wife, we decided to put an outlet at the bottom and try to put it as close to the door as we could so that when we open up the dryer door and things, if we have something plugged into there, it won't get hit and knocked. And also, for temporary purposes, I use some uh, silver tape from my job that I do to seal up where we had some air leakage because... Um, it's kind of getting cold in here and I permanently put these screws in this window So when I go to box this in and cover it up, I'm literally just going to cover it up I might have to scab a board in here to give me something to put the drywall screws to But I do have insulation with stuff in here and then at some point down the road when it's warmer outside And it's maybe springtime. We'll actually take this window out outside insulate it really good and then break it up but for the time being just going to go ahead and do this but i do have some insulation it's not nor normally the insulation you would put in a wall um, it doesn't have the backing the paper backing so but really to me it really doesn't matter i'm going to fill these walls it was very surprising to me to find that there was absolutely zero insulation in here so what i'm going to do i'm going to actually go ahead and fill these all up fill this up with insulation fill up this void here i did leave this little strip of um, cellotex there because yeah, the thing is, the width of the of the plywood, or the uh, width of the drywall, is four feet, and that is exactly where that is. I left the piece above the door as well, because this is essentially going to get covered up by mud anyways, with the seam there. And then up top, I figured just to maintain and keep that there, I'll probably put a skim coat of drywall mud on it. It will actually give it the look of drywall without having to rip that down. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with insulation. Probably put a little piece of wood here to give me, uh, probably right in here somewhere, just to give me the 
um, the center part so I know where to put screws for drywall. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a piece of drywall up. Okay, so something I wanna show you right before I get this drywall going. Um, when you are going to put drywall up on a studded wall, these are studs, actually this not, but these are studs. And what you wanna do is on the top side or wherever you can, put a little mark up a little V with the point being pretty much in the center. And then you know you have one here in the corner and I'll have one, one right on the edge. The reason for that is then I'll do the same thing on the floor. Do the same thing on the floor and do the same thing up here. Once I get that piece of drywall rough fitted in there, I will put a chalk line from here down to the bottom, snap it on every one. I know professional drywallers and all them, they've got probably different methods, but for DIY, for what I'm doing, this is what I'm gonna do in my house. Okay guys, so that is just about it for this video. Um, I'm gonna throw some drywall mud on that piece of drywall. I gotta clean up this mess from the debris before and then just try to put this room back into a semi-working order. If you enjoyed this video, please be tuned to the next episode that'll be out. It's gonna cover um, a little bit of what I did with the plumbing because during this video and then between the next one, I'm gonna do the plumbing and some of the frame about that off camera. And then I'll explain what I did because a lot of that i got to kind of figure it out as I go. And so I don't want to cover that in a video. But after that, we're going to continue on with the rest of this project and we'll go from there. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to save this playlist to your phone so that you can go and watch it. Um, and that you will be notified of every video. If you are not subscribed, just subscribe to me. You'll be notified of every video that I put up. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time right here in the workshop. Or I should say laundry room. <laughs> I'll see you next time.